Earlier in the year, Eleanor Swanson arrived at Sanford Health in Bemidji with some stomach pain. That quickly turned into a much worse diagnosis. R. Mel Meyer was there when Eleanor got to thank one of the staff members that helped save her life. Since AirMed took its first flight out of Bemidji in 2012, we have the potential to transport two patients. The Air Ambulance Service has responded to nearly 1,800 calls across Minnesota. One of those was a common transfer request. Land at the hospital, we package a patient up and we move them to uh, another hospital. On March 12th, Eleanor Swanson went to the ER with some stomach pains. The next day, her colon suddenly ruptured. I can remember the initial pain but that might have been my last moment. She was flown to Essentia St. Mary's in Duluth for treatment with doctors. Not thinking that I would make it. She didn't wake up until her return to Bemidji, confused about what had happened. So it's been quite a ride. It's a ride she's thankful she had taken. Happy yeah. that things turned out well. Thank you. I'm just so glad the service is available. Which is why Eleanor and her daughter were sure to drop by the AirMed Ice Cream Social. What's it like to be able to meet him? Fantastic. She wanted to meet the team that helped save her life, an unusual occurrence for Joe Rain, who was on her flight. I guess I'm speechless. It's weird. You don't get to meet them. You don't get to meet your patients. You drop them off, and unless you know people at the hospital, you might get a little bit of an update. It's a heartwarming surprise, best served over ice cream. It confirms that what we're doing is a good thing and that you're helping people. We have many more good life-saving flights. Yes. <laughs> Eleanor says she's looking forward to thanking the rest of the AirMed team that helped save her life. In Bemidji, I'm Mel Meyer, Lakeland News. Ambulance service, Sanford Health is able to take patients from Bemidji to Minneapolis in just about an hour. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.